Ikaw ba rin mag-introduce yata sa inyo? Pa pictures. Kapla yung ino yata sa inyo ng picture. Babe, I've been seeing this girl get exposed lately and I really do not want to get exposed. You know, I ain't like these other guys, so you're gonna be exposing girl, especially you. Okay, so I got you, I got you. I promise. I promise. <laughs> What's up, thickness? <laughs> okay, then, I see you. Oh, yeah, I'll see you. I was say you was one of those sex guys. You're gonna be busy. Hold on, I'm not thinking. So, wait, then I sent you? Everybody in my contact list got it now. Why, Holland and all that are. I just sent it to you. Oh my god. <laughs> Javier, why would you do that? I trusted you. You're just like all the other boys. You promise and you break them. You should have known better to send them pictures. You're just like all the others. And now I see. That wasn't cool though. You got a sister. You wouldn't let her talk to her. Oh please. She should have known better. She just wanted him to let go. You're just as bad as him because you be standing on those pictures. You're female, you disgust me. I'm trying to get us from slow. Bully down now. Cyberbullying is bullying that takes place over digital devices like cell phones, computers, and tablets. Cyberbullying can occur through SMS, text, and apps, or online in social media or gaming where people can view, participate in, or share content. Cyberbullying includes sending, posting, or sharing negative, harmful, false, or mean content about someone else. It can include sharing personal or private information, causing embarrassment or humiliation. Some cyberbullying crosses the line into unlawful or criminal behavior. The most common places where cyberbullying occurs are social media such as Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Cyberbullying can harm the online reputations of everyone involved, not just the person being bullied, but those doing the bullying or are participating in it. Teens who are bullied are more likely to experience depression and anxiety, increased feeling of sadness and loneliness, changes in sleep and eating patterns, and loss of interest in activities they used to enjoy. These issues may persist into adulthood. Suicidal tendencies and thoughts decrease academic. Why would you lie to my face? No, I'm the biggest disgrace. I told you on my story of my past and abusive mom and the death of my dad. I trusted you. I should have known this for the last a few bits. Were all you asked for, then you sent them. Now they think I'm a beaten, broken, and abused for you. Mom, she hates me more now in my life. It makes no sense now. Dad, I'm coming home. Teasing, the taunting and the bullying, the pics, all the sharing and forwarding. I'm sorry that I let you go, should have consoled you and let you know that I am here now. And we can get through this, but it's too late. And it's all because the big stop. Let's break the chain. Another young life gone down the drain. Technology isn't the reason for this. It's the choices that we make that is causing this. Be wise. Don't send those nudes. If you receive them, well, delete those nudes. Report them to an adult or teacher. If we did that, we could have probably saved her.